Um, I think we came out um, just having fun. We had, we, we had fun, but the outcome wasn't fun. But, you know, just it was a lot of nerves. But when we got into the game, we just started feeling natural. So just uh, just got to build on it and move on to the next one. What do you feel you guys learned from that first Big 12 experience? Um, I feel like we're going to learn something every, every game, every new game. So we just got to see what's ahead. So, yeah. But Montavious, I was curious, what, what kind of uh, presence does David Sloan bring to the floor for you guys? Kind of when he's out there, how do you feel? I mean, he's a leader, you know. He, he, he reads the game and, you know, he just – he reads the like the core and just everything that comes into it. So we just whatever he, what whatever he brings, we bring. So if, he, if that means pick and roll, pick and pop, he'll tell us and just we just read off of it. Dave Sloan, what have you learned from him? Dave Sloan. Yeah. Get out. You run the floor. You run the floor. You gonna get the ball to you. Just let him know if you open or not. He get it to you. Dave Sloan, are you starting to feel a little bit more comfortable out there? Yeah. Just starting to know. Play it more aggressive instead of just, you know, just take what they give me, whatever they give me, whatever coach needed to do, just do that. Dejuan, you, you lost two games your senior season, and Montavious, you lost three games your senior season. Not very many losses, 71 wins between you two. What has the adjustment been like um, just these first 13 games and going on into the Big 12? Uh, going back to day one in high school, when you're a freshman, you're learning from the seniors or the upperclassmen. You're at your school, so it's just a hard, it's more harder until once you know you have no experience, so you don't know what really to expect except from from high school. But it's way harder than high school, so. Yeah, I say the same. Um, <clears throat> coming from like freshman, you always you always look up to the big guys, you know, and just like you just know it's gonna be a process. Just every just take every day uh, at a time. So yeah. Montavious, what does this team need to do better in the last couple of minutes to go from losing games to winning games? Um, I think we just need to close out, just close out games. We start games, uh, we start games well, you know, just coming out with fire, and we just need to for the last four minutes and the last last minutes we just need to close them out. That's the big thing. So yeah. What's it been like for you for you having to go through an injury this season and coming back from it? Um, I'd say it's tough, but you know, just. Just got to get back to it, you know. Just got to um, just bring the fire every day. So, you know, everybody goes through adversity. Everybody gets hurt. It's part of basketball, so yeah. There's one, you had 10 points against Marquette and had 13 points against Alabama State. What was working so well for you those games? Um, just with Alabama State, it was, I was getting, they was leaving me open, so I just shot the ball, you know, made open shots. But um, against Marquette, just running the floor, getting rebounds, and if somebody give me baseline, go baseline. Huh? If I'm open, shoot the shot. So I just gave whatever they gave me, just play it that way. Javon, what was the biggest adjustment going from high school to college? Um, that the guys are just as smart as you. You know, high school is they're smart, but well, more ta I'm more talented than guys. And but in college, that it's everybody the same, so things that you did in high school, some some things don't work. So you guys have seen it. This has been a culture of winning at Kansas State this year. When you guys look in the locker room, who are the leaders? Who are the guys that you guys look to right now? Um I think all of them lead and all of the upperclassmen lead in a certain kind of way. Like X lead vocal vocal and and on the court because he plays so hard. Carter the same way, and Mike the same way. So it's just they all lead a different kind of way. There's no, I feel like there's no person that just straight lead by itself. Everybody, I, everybody is somebody I can talk to whenever I need help. I'll tell you this, what, what's your take on the leadership in the locker room? Um, I say the same thing. Um, everybody's be, everybody's being vocal. Um, everybody wants to uh, lead in a different type of way, and just <clears throat> they're everybody has a different type, a different point of leading, and they just, they're just different. So yeah. Is one of our things starting to slow down for you a little bit now that you're halfway through your freshman season? Yeah, now I'm, just, I'm starting to see the game. It's a little slower. But first it was real fast when I first we first started playing, but now it's getting a little slower. Now, now that I watch film a lot and learning the game, I can know what spots I can beat somebody to the basket or shoot the shot or pass the ball. How much does that excite you knowing that you are kind of figuring things out and you've just got a lot of season left? 
just helped me know that my future is bright. Montavious, what was the like the message in the locker room after the game at Oklahoma Saturday and then throughout practice the last couple of days? Um, just getting better. Um, just getting better every day. Um, the outcome wasn't uh, great, but um, just making sure we stay as a team, stay together, and just making sure we move on to the next game because it's Big 12. You just got to be ready. What are your thoughts on TCU so far? Um, right now, we've watched a little film over them, but we're going to do it probably after. But um, <clears throat> just they, they look like a pressure team. You know, we just got to go out there and compete.